everybody, I'm Mandy Simon and today I'm going to show you how to do a fecal flotation. So you normally, there's small changes, like in the UNISA lab they teach you to do it for 10 minutes. And with the Chiron flotation kit they say you have to leave it at least 15 minutes. So to be safe I'll leave it 15 minutes. Uh, I don't think it can do any harm. So I'm just putting gloves on because it is fecal matter. I'm using a uh, sheep fecal matter today. I'm going to show you step by step. I've done it a few times before. So you have to have, this is the one thing, one of the things that you definitely need is your fecal flotation kit. So you take it apart. I suppose if I show you in the camera it would be better. So if you put it in, you'll see this is going to be loose. You don't want that because then your liquid is going to come out in the bottom and your fecal matter. So you push it in, you'll see it goes tight. No squeezing, no leaking, nothing, no wiggling. So normally you would just take it out and measure it separate because you need two grams of fecal matter but I'm not going to measure it out separately I'm going to switch my scale on with this on so it will be reset already let me just get my stick okay, so yeah. I'm just going to use a uh, wooden stick, ice cream stick, tongue suppressor that turn your scale on and I've got some fresh fecal matter that I took today from one of the vets farms now you're going to scoop it out and you need 2 grams now the reason you're supposed to do this separately is so you can easily take some out if you got too much. So now I'm just going to try and add little by little until I get two grams. Here we go. So that's two grams. I actually want to do another fecal flotation. I think I'm just going to measure out both of them. See there? I've got two grams. It's just going to depend on how many you want to do or need to do. I know if you've got your UNISA will logbook, you'll have to do, I think it's 5 or 10 fecal flotations, but I know you need 10 samples. And this is from 10 different sheep. Can't take everything from one sheep. <laughs> Okay, so what I got here now is a bit of a problem. You get small jewelry scales that you can use. Let's just reset it, which works a lot better than your kitchen scales. Okay, now let's try that again. And I'm not gonna, this is not actually, it's, I just call it a kitchen scale, but I'm not gonna use it in the kitchen, so. Do not worry about that. There we go, two grams. And again, 
if you use a smaller scale, the one that's more accurate, it will help a lot more. Now I'm just going to throw my stick away because I've got another stick for mixing. Okay, so now that that's done, so now you're going to use your fecal flotation liquid and you're just going to put about a quarter in I mean it doesn't have to be exact okay now you'll see minus it says egg flotation liquid mine is in a different bottle the squeezy bottles works better for me but I mean you can do it however you get a good one that's a Chiron brand that you can use which is I think what everybody use but mine is just in a smaller bottle because now you mix it you stir it through properly and the squeezy bottle is just so that I don't mess but I'll show you that now because the bigger bottles I think it comes like in a liter it's 500 moles or a liter okay, mix 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 and try to keep the top clean otherwise you're gonna have to do what I'm gonna do now and I have to wipe it down because your slide will go on there now okay so you mix 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 So now what I do is, you get this little filter that the eggs can float through, this is parasite eggs, but I am assuming that you already knew that, and then I just brush that down, down, down for the liquid to come up, and then I fill it to the top. That's why I got my little squeezy bottle. Okay, so now what we do is one of your cover slides to your microscope I don't know if you can see that and then you put it on top of the liquid sorry I just wanted to put my glove a bit back otherwise it's gonna get stuck in there okay so you put your cover slide on just like so and now you leave it for 10 to 15 minutes so I'm going to do the other one put a bit more liquid and then my little plunger push it in and then liquid 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 and cover slide on there you go now we're going to leave it for 10 to 15 minutes and then once you are done let me show you quickly Okay, 
we're just going to use a normal slide minus got the cavity but use the one without the cavity you can see it's that round circle so i'm just going to show you with one that's not made yet and i just don't want you guys to wait for 10 minutes till i finish the video actually it's not going to matter because i have to wait anyway so Anyway, once you've got your cover slide, you take it off and onto your microscope slide. And your slide is now ready to view under the microscope to see for eggs. And so I think I'll, when I'm done with this, I'll quickly put my slide under the microscope and just show you. Um, if I do see anything, I will show you that. Okay, thank you for watching, guys. Okay. We have been on for more than 15 minutes. Okay. So now you take off your slide gently. And you drop it on your microscope slide like so. And it's ready to be viewed. Now the next one. And there we go. Now we're going to go view it under the microscope.